Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I hope you're doing really well. So today I am kicking off autumn content with my autumn fragrance recommendations. Needless to say, this is a video that I am extremely excited about. You guys know how much I love autumn. You guys know how much I love autumn fragrances. So I do have a stellar lineup here for you, if I do say so myself, and I'm very excited to get into them. I've got 12 fragrances. Let's do this. I'll also be filming loads of autumn perfume content over on my TikTok. So be sure to be following me over there if you want some more like fragrance roundups and stuff. Also, if you have any recommendations for videos that you specifically want to see on TikTok, any fragrance roundups or just anything in general, let me know. I am going to kick this off with Widian Gold 2 Sahara. This fragrance is an ode to saffron and it is absolutely stunning. It's this warm, sweet, ambery, vanilla fragrance. It's so unbelievably smooth. It's got a mix of Elemi orange and saffron in the top, which gives the fragrance this sort of spicy luminescence. It has this definite brightness to it. It also has a lot of warmth. The bottle is absolutely stunning and it completely depicts how the fragrance smells. It smells very golden. It has this sort of syrupy quality. It smells like, if you imagine golden hour in the desert, sand dunes with the sun setting. If that image had a scent, I feel like it would be this. It also has rose, orange blossom, musk, cedar, just rounding the fragrance out. It is very, very sophisticated. And if you like saffron, this is definitely one to check out. It is incredible. Next up, I've been loving the newest launch from Memo Paris. This is Inverness and it is inspired by the Scottish Highlands. This is such a gorgeous, creamy, powdery, woody fragrance. There's a lot of sandalwood in here. There's iris butter. It's got this real sort of powdery, creamy mix of sandalwood and iris butter. You really get them. There's also cedarwood in here. There's guyac wood. There's an amorous note. There's a mate note, which adds this sort of herbal quality, which does give you this sort of feeling of being outdoors, which I really like. There's a slight sweetness to the fragrance. I find this quite cozy and comforting as well. It's a perfect one for as the weather is getting cooler. I absolutely love this. If you're a fan of creamy or powdery scents, if you like woody scents, or if you're an iris fan, you need to check this out. It is incredible. Next up, I have Tonka Extraordinaire from the Experimental Perfume Club. This is a fragrance that I have been wearing during summer as well because we had such an autumnal summer in the UK, but this is such a cozy, warm fragrance. It is a beautiful Tonka fragrance. There's sesame in here, it's also got almond, it's got hazelnut, so it's got this real sort of nutty feel. The tonka is absolutely gorgeous, this has a real sort of creaminess to it, it's got a powdery quality. There's iris in here, which is what is giving the fragrance that powdery quality, although it's not like a lipsticky iris at all. It is absolutely stunning. There's vanilla in here, it has a sweetness to it. This is unisex, I think, uh, I feel like it leans ever so slightly masculine, but don't let that put you off. I absolutely love wearing this. It's so easy to wear as a woman, like really, really easy to wear. I don't even think it's that masculine. Do you know what I mean? But I've said this before, this fragrance has this sort of feeling to me of a man's sweater, you know, like a sexy man's sweater. It kind of reminds me of that, but just a hint a hint underneath that sweetness and the creaminess. I absolutely love this fragrance. It's like a warm hug. I do have a discount code with this brand if you would like to use it, Kate 10 um, I'll link it below with all of these fragrances as always. Next up, I have one of the best patchouli fragrances that I have ever tried and it is so perfect for the cooler weather. So I'm so excited to wear it more often as the weather gets cooler. It is Psychedelic from Javoy. This fragrance is just unbelievable. You really get all of the different facets of patchouli. You get the sort of chocolatey quality. You get the earthy quality. It's got this real sort of rich depth to it. It's got a hint of vanilla. It's got an ambery quality. It's a bit musky. 
very sophisticated that earthiness does come through so you do have to like that in your patchouli fragrances but ugh, it is so refined so put together you could wear it daytime or nighttime in the cooler weather but I think it deserves more of a put together sort of outfit it is stunning I love it next I have Chopin Nuit de Roi this has quickly become one of my favourite oud fragrances. You know I love a good oud fragrance. This is a stunning honeyed floral with an oud backbone. This has oud asafi, which is the world's rarest natural oud. It also has a gorgeous mix of rose, iris, saffron. It's got orange, it's got cardamom, it's got honey and vanilla just sweetening everything up. The mix of iris and oud in this fragrance gives me a slightly sort of leathery feel. This is quite an easy to wear oud, yet it's quite complex at the same time. So when you first spray this, you do need to give it about 10 to 15 minutes just to settle on your skin before you can really get an idea of what it's going to smell like. I love this, it is so sophisticated, so put together. Like I said though, if you're a little bit intimidated by oud and you're just sort of wanting to start wearing oud fragrances, this might be a good place to start. Also, if you enjoy your honeyed florals like I do, this is incredible. I love the mix of the honeyed florals with the oud. Such a beautiful fragrance, I love it. Next I have Oriental Enigma from Alexandra J. This is such a gorgeous, warm, spicy, sweet, slightly boozy fragrance. It's got a nuttiness, it's got hazelnut in here, it has rum, it's got a date note which adds this sort of sticky sweetness. It's got a mix of hibiscus and iris. It's also got lots of tonka bean and it's got saffron in here as well. It's a very thick enveloping fragrance. It's like a warm blanket. It just sort of surrounds you and I just absolutely love it. Very refined. If you like your warm spicy fragrances, this is definitely one to check out. Next up I have Iris Malacan. This is such a stunning iris fragrance. It's really powdery, it's got this buttery quality to it, it's a very thick fragrance. It's got a slight leathery feel, it's got galbanum which adds this slightly green touch. It has this gorgeous vanilla sweetness and it has almost like a dry woody type of feel to it as well. It is extremely refined, extremely put together. The longevity and the projection of this fragrance is absolutely incredible. It could easily be worn as a signature scent in the cooler weather. It's one of those fragrances that will just kind of stick to everything you own. So your scarf will smell like this, your coat will smell like this. I love fragrances like that. I have this vision of myself, maybe in another life, of being a signature scent kind of girl and having scarves that just smell like my perfume. I love that idea, but I'm such a perfume floozy. But if you are into a signature scent, this is an amazing one for autumn and winter. Next up is a designer fragrance. It's the only designer fragrance in this list and I've been blown away by this scent. I absolutely love it and it is the Black Opium Le Parfum from YSL. This doesn't smell to me anything like the original Black Opium. It's such an interesting addition to the lineup. It is such a rich, decadent, creamy vanilla with coffee. The coffee in the beginning has this sort of syrupy quality. It almost reminds me of like a coffee liqueur. And then as the fragrance wears, it becomes more powdery and it almost gives me like a sort of chocolatey vibe, almost like a powdered chocolate kind of feel. I absolutely love this. For a designer fragrance, I think this smells really refined. It has a sweetness to it, but it's not overly sweet. It works by itself, but I also think it works amazingly layered over other vanilla fragrances, coffee fragrances. This is definitely one to check out if you haven't already. I love it. Next up I have Sugar Leather by Unui Nomad. This fragrance is such an incredible gourmand and I'm so excited to start wearing it more as the weather gets cooler. For me, this is one of the best fragrance launches this year. It is a gorgeous sweet caramel with spicy cinnamon and just a hint of leather. It's got a woody quality to it. It's slightly resinous. It's just 
absolutely stunning. It reminds me of, you know the smell of that cinnamon sugar that you get on top of pastries sometimes? It really smells like that. It is absolutely delicious. I have a discount code with this brand as well. I'll leave all of my discount codes as always in the description box. Next up I have 1899 Hemingway by Histoire de Parfum. Histoire de Parfum is a brand that I absolutely love in general but at the moment I just can't get enough of their fragrances. I'm really having a moment with them. This one is a gorgeous, warm, spicy, slightly sweet, slightly aromatic fragrance. It's got cinnamon, it's got black pepper, there's iris in here, there's juniper. It has amber, vanilla and vetiver in the base and this is such a sophisticated fragrance. If you enjoy fragrances like Initio um, Rehab, then I think you will like this. It sits in the same sort of family. It's got that sort of freshness to it as well, even though it's warm and spicy, which I really like. It is absolutely gorgeous. This is another one that you could wear anytime, day or night, when the weather's cooler. Next up I have Palo Santo from Cana Barcelona. This is another woody fragrance. I'm really having a moment with woody fragrances. This has this gorgeous, creamy, sort of milky quality to it. It's also got this sort of smoky quality to it, a bit like, not like a burning fire sort of smell, but kind of like verging on that. It's got a hint of sweetness, it's got herbal quality as well. It's got a slight nuttiness. It's got an ever so slight boozy quality. It's just gorgeous for autumn time. It really does. If you could put autumn into a scent, I feel like it would be this. It is absolutely gorgeous. If you like fragrances like Replica by The Fireplace, then I think you'll like this. This is not as sweet as that and it definitely to me smells more refined and it doesn't have as much of like a burning fire sort of smell. It's just got a gorgeous sort of like smoky woodiness which is a bit more understated which I really really like. You could wear this day or night and it's a gorgeous one. I'd say this is unisex leaning slightly masculine. Another one that is slightly masculine leaning to my nose is Papalofico from Nishane. This is from Nishane's Time Capsule Collection. It's definitely unisex, just it has this sort of slight masculine touch. It's this warm, sweet, spicy fragrance. I'm having a moment with those types of fragrances. But this has a mix of cardamom, coriander and citrus in the top, which is really, really interesting. It's got a mix of lavender and artemisia, which I think is where I'm getting that sort of slightly masculine aromatic quality in this fragrance. And then it's got this rich earthy base of balsam fir and moss as well. This is very easy to wear as a woman. I just feel the need to let you know that I do think it leans slightly masculine. You guys know I love wearing fragrances like that though. They make me feel so powerful and put together and I love this because it makes me feel powerful and put together but it also has that sweetness to it, which I don't know, it's just very sort of warming and enveloping and I really love it. This smells very, very refined, I can't get the topic on, very refined, very sophisticated and just perfect for cooler weather. It's very sort of thick and it projects a lot, it lasts a long time and it's just absolutely gorgeous. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Leave me a comment, let me know which fragrances you are excited to wear this autumn, if you're going to check any of these ones out. Again, follow me over on TikTok for more perfume content and I hope you enjoyed the video guys. Give it a cheeky little thumbs up as always if you did and hopefully I'll catch you in my next one. Bye!